Welcome back. In today's video is a little bit of a surprise for me. I wasn't expecting to make this video today. I already had something else scheduled, but I got a comment this morning. It really got me thinking, and I really liked the idea. So I wanted to respond to this comment and also create a video at the same time. So the comment was from Digital Crap. It says, hello, sir. Thank you for your tutorial. But my question is, how can I create a blog on different pages? I mean, I've created different pages like games, PC, Android, etc., and also a blog but I'm not able to place my new blogs on that particular page. For instance, if I create an Android post, I want that post in an Android page. And if I create a post related to computers, I want it on the PC page. That I have already created. But the problem is I'm not able to place the blogs I have created to respective pages. Can you help me out? Well, first off, Digital Crap, thank you so much for the comment and the thank you. I will try to answer as best I can today and anybody else who wants to know that comments on the start a blog using Zoho sites video so you can watch that video here as well but to answer your question to do this is um, a, a multiple step process in Zoho and let me go ahead and shrink out of here and I'm going to jump back to my Zoho site so what I'm going to suggest you do is first log into Zoho into your editor and you're going to make edits to your pages here. I also suggest opening a separate tab going straight to your website. And you're going to use that to reference your blog post. This will be important here in just a few minutes. The last thing I want to show is I did a little research for you on this particular question and I looked up and found a comment or a question on Zoho and it says how to show recent blog posts on in a site level sidebar now you're not interested in a sidebar you're interested in particular pages but it works the same way and unfortunately that question was posed three years ago and Zoho doesn't currently offer that feature and scroll down as of two months ago it was still not available so they said you can use a widget and they suggest rssfeedwidget.com but I found a different one that I like better that I will show you in just a minute what a widget will do is it will just display your most recent X number of posts on a page. So there's a couple ways, like I said, that you can do this. If you want to just show certain blog topics on certain pages, then you're going to find that using your categories and tags. So for example, yours is on gaming, mine's on website design, video creation, email, social media, different topics of of my blog post if you are on your website notice I'm not editing I'm just looking at my website as a regular visitor would look all these tags are hyperlinked so I can jump to a specific section so what I have multiple blog posts written about you know designing your website and these if I click on a category it's only going to show me those blog posts with the same category of website if I do tags you know, maybe I'll find just YouTube related blog posts. Now, again, I'm not going to get in too much into categories and tags. Watch my original how to create a blog post using Zoho sites video. If you want more description about the difference between categories and tags and when you'll use them. But I want you to notice as you click on a tag or a category, it's going to change your URL at the top. So it says lunchhourweb.com slash blogs slash tag. YouTube. It's only going to show me those blogs with a tag equal to YouTube. Same way with the categories. It says blog slash category slash marketing. That's important because what you can do while you're building your site is let's say you want yours might say Android as for this question or it might say PC or it might say Apple or iOS or whatever categories or tags you're using find the appropriate category and tag that you want to appear on that page and then copy that and then you go back to your website now I just have a few pages on mine I'll just say on the home page but just you can pretend this is any page on your website and you'll scroll down and you're gonna add in either a paragraph where you can add in some text from here you can put in a link to your blog posts that are just related to your topic so again your topic one of your topics was Android you could just type in some text put a little link there 
and then put in the web URL. So this is that web URL that was created when you clicked on one of your categories or tags. From here, you can name it what you want. Uh, you may want that in the same tab or a separate tab, depending on how you want your viewers to read it. And then always uncheck this box. Um, there's no reason to tell search engines not to follow the link, especially if you're linking to some other person's website. So go ahead and uncheck that. It just helps people boost their S search engine optimization rankings. So once you click OK, it's going to create a little link there. And when someone, after you publish, if they click on it, it's going to go open this website and it'll only show you the blog post related to that category or tag. That's the first way. The second way you can do it via images as well. So you notice I do that on my main website. And once you upload an image, you can also attach a link to an image and then you can put in the URL of your site as well. So my site, for example, all these links, let me just come back to my home page, not in the editor mode. All these links just open a new tab just about that topic. So the most popular topics are social media, video, website design. You can click on these and it's going to just bring you up to those blog posts related to that topic. Okay, all that said, there's two ways you can do that currently. Those don't embed the blog posts on your site. And that's what I think you're really going after. So the last option I'm going to show you, which is one of the reasons that I created this video today, because I think it's a great idea. I'm probably going to incorporate this into my website as well. I'm going to have you go to feed.mikle.com, feed.mikle, maybe, how you say that. This little feed URL is going to find a blog series. It's going to create a little embedded link box that's going to help highlight your posts in a kind of neat looking way, kind of like a, a news feed or a social media feed. So to find this for your website, go to, back to your website. Again, not in the editor mode, click on blog and go subscribe via RSS. And you're going to copy this URL, post it right in here, and hit the plus sign. And now it's going to have just your blog posts. You notice it has it all in this nice, nice look and feel to it. You can change the width, the height. I do suggest leaving it responsive, mobile friendly, especially using Zoho. Zoho sites are already mobile friendly, so they're going to appear nicely in a mobile phone or a tablet so I leave that responsive you can you can mess with the number of pixels or the number of feed items you want showing at a time you can also change it to scroll a different way there's a whole lot of properties you can do here you can change the style of the look you can actually show your whole post all in one spot And then there's a lot of advanced settings as well. For the most part, I'm not going to worry about showing these. You can mess with these settings and make it look exactly as you want. Something you might be able to do, I haven't had a whole lot of luck with it, but it may work better for you. You can do keyword filters. So if you only want to show posts that have Android in it somewhere, I don't have any posts like that, but maybe it will come up better for you. Let's say for me, I have video it's going to limit the number of blog posts that appear in here. I'm not exactly sure how well that keyword filter works. Like I said, I've had a little bit of issues getting that to work as I want, but something you may want to mess around with. So you mess around with the settings as you want. I'm not going to spend the time going through all these settings today. If you do have further questions, just let me know in this video and maybe I can help you out there as well. So once you have your, your blog feed looking as you want, now you can actually embed it into an individual web page. So what you do is you go click code and you can copy this code back on your website, go to whatever page you want to insert this feed and you're going to come down and you're going to drag the embed into your section, wherever you want it to appear on your website. This is going to open this little pop up. You're going to go to code snippet and paste, press OK and it'll say your content will be rendered on your published site. So now you actually have to click publish to see your content. I'm going to go ahead and do this for mine. I'm going to go ahead and 
just copy this here. I'm going to add in a heading. Say latest blog posts, maybe just latest posts, and then publish. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Click the link, let's open it up in a new browser tab. And now we can see that my latest post, posts are here, and this is what it looks like. You will notice that there's a scroll bar here, you can go through your posts. People can click on these links as well. It's going to open up in a new tab. And they'll be able to jump right to whatever post you want to see. There is this Powered by Feedwind link logo right here, of course. If they click on that, it's going to bring them back to the feed.mikele.com website. And that, of course, just branding by this service at providing. They're hoping to get more customers by this. You can purchase plans as well if you'd like to remove this little powered by logo so check that out if you want and hopefully this service works well for you so that's it I hope it was helpful again what I would suggest doing is mess around with the look and feel and then mess also mess around with the include and exclude and hopefully that will help you with what you need one quick side note if you are using WordPress you can go to any category or tag get your website link and just type feed at the end and that will give you a feed just for that category or just for that tag and that's using WordPress that isn't currently available in Zoho I have no idea if that's planned future feature or not but it, when I tried that it actually still shows me everything all of my blog posts it doesn't seem to to limit it based on the category or tag. So again, I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you again, Digital Crap, great username. Uh, but thank you for the comment. Hopefully this was helpful. If anybody else has any questions that they'd like me to cover in a video, uh, and it is obviously longer than something I can write in a public reply, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, if it's helpful for you, give me a thumbs up or subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.